testing the website across browsers is crucial to ensure a seamless user experience. Poor quality or delayed releases can frustrate your users, damaging your brand, and eventually could impact your revenue. Yet, QA teams face two major challenges. One, achieving faster testing cycles, and the second is ensuring comprehensive coverage across browsers, devices, and OS versions. Device fragmentation presents a constant challenge with the sheer variety of devices, browsers, and OS versions and configurations needed to cover real-world user scenarios. As teams turn to test automation, they quickly realize that it demands a scalable, stable, and high-performance testing infrastructure to deliver constant results. Many I know turn to emulators or simulators as a quick solution, but these alternatives often fall short in terms of accuracy, coverage, and performance. And this is bad because it leaves gaps that real devices could expose. And I know some that try to maintain an internal real device lab, which may seem like a good solution, but in my experience, the cost, time, and efforts required to set up and maintain your own lab can be overwhelming, making it difficult to scale effectively. Also, increased competition and rising user demands warrants reduction in test cycle times, which directly impacts your time to market. So what do you do? Well, you may want to check out Browser Stack Automate. It's a real powerful browser test automation solution that lets you run parallel tests at scale. And it's easy to configure, scales as per your needs, and offers advanced test debugging capabilities without worrying about infrastructure hassles. And they tell me it boosts an industry-leading 99.9 infrastructure uptime and ensures your tests run uninterrupted. And you get crazy coverage with it. Browser Stack Automate provides an instant access to over 20,000 plus devices, allowing you to run tests across 3,500 plus device, browser, and OS combinations. It supports all of the leading frameworks, browsers, OSs, and their respective latest versions. You can explore the complete coverage here. You can also configure and integrate your test suites with Browser Stack Real Device Cloud using Browser Stack SDK. It's a plug and play solution available in multiple programming languages, such as Java, Node.js, Python, c -sharp, and it enables you to run your entire test suite on the Browser Stack Cloud with no code changes. Using the SDK reduces the integration time from hours to minutes. And it's also super easy to configure with the SDK Capabilities Builder for your preferred frameworks. It helps you meticulously configure all of your Browser Stack Automate's capabilities, namely parallel threads, network, logs, web performance, et cetera. All wrapped up in a YAML file that allows you to leverage it to trigger your test directly from your terminal. So let's check it out. Let's dive into the console and run a quick build on Automate. Here we have downloaded a sample test repository and installed all the relevant dependencies for running our tests. We'll be running Python test over testng. We'll then utilize an SDK builder to configure the YAML file. We'll then go ahead with these settings for now. Now we will simply trigger our tests from the console. At the same time, you can visualize the status of your tests and see that they have been populated in the tests tab. We'll dive into the capabilities of this automation dashboard in an upcoming section. So wasn't that easy? Browser Stack Automate also supports real device native features to test for real life use cases like media injection, audio streaming, file transfer, payment, security, location, device settings, and network simulation. Also, with local testing capabilities, you can securely test your websites in development and staging environments identifying issues before they reach your end users. Once your tests are triggered, you can easily monitor and debug them from the all new automation dashboard powered by built-in test observability. This provides a unified experience for your test reporting, debugging, and analytics that is aimed to significantly reduce your overall testing cycle time. You get real-time information on the number of tests running or queued. All your builds are neatly stacked right here. You also get build level insights in the form of build summary, automatic categorization into flaky, muted tests, new features, always failing tests. You can even analyze build history for your test or configure alerts accordingly. This new dashboard also automatically identifies unique errors for your failing tests. So you can focus on less to solve for more. It also comes with this unique feature called quality gates 
that allows you to set quality standards and automate your deployment workflows. You get a default quality profile, but can create and configure your own profiles from scratch based on build stability, flakiness, new errors, etc. But what about AI? Well, it also offers AI powered test failure categorization to understand why your test has failed, whether it's automation bug, environment issue, product issue, or something else. The new dashboard neatly categorizes your test failures by folders for you to deep dive into the folder level issues. Moving over to the test tab, now you not only get session level data, but also individual test level data automatically categorized as pass, failed, or skipped. You can directly dive into any of these failures and analyze multiple logs as part of each test case. So that includes video logs, network logs, or even framework logs. It even has time travel. How? Well, while debugging your tests, you can time travel back to investigate how the tests performed yesterday or the day before. You can even mute tests, create Jira tickets, rerun specific tests, or collaborate with your team members specifically on certain test cases. And the new dashboard also gives you a glimpse into some key metrics like stability, unique test executions, flaky tests, and a bunch more at the project level in the overview tab. You can monitor your project level test help over a custom time frame in the test help tab. You could track metrics like average test duration, failure rate, or even deep dive into individual tests. And as I talked about earlier, unique errors are also available at the project level. Simply head over to the unique errors tab and start investigating the failure trends. You can even deep dive into each unique failure reason to assess which builds were impacted by the same issue. The Testing Trends tab presents crucial metrics and high-level statistics that enables you to get a comprehensive picture of the testing activities based on key testing metrics and time frame. You can also track key metrics at project level, like latest unique build runs, flakiness, stability, performance, failure categorization, and many, many more. Hey, be not limited to what they give you. You can even create your own custom dashboard to track key metrics and overall automation health. You can choose from over 15 dashboard widgets, choose your visualization style, apply filters, and that's it. With their webhooks, you can create powerful and customizable workflows with ops monitoring, notification tools like PagerDuty, Ops Genie, Jira, MS Teams, and more. Simply head on over to the settings tab, create a hook, Choose from the respective payload templates or the default one. Provide respective details and you're up and ready to go. Overall, once you configure and trigger your tests, you can visualize them in the Build Insights tab from the Build Runs tab. Then head over to the test lab to debug further using a range of logs. Finally, you can leverage key metrics across tabs like dashboard, test health, unique errors, and testing trends to optimize your test suites. Finally, you can set up rules, alerts, and other configurations in the Settings tab. But there's more. Browser Stack Automate also supports web performance testing. You can integrate Google Lighthouse into your tests and evaluate various factors affecting a website's performance. You can measure your web page front end performance metrics, generate Google Lighthouse reports, and pass fail test sessions based on the reported metric values on desktop Chrome and Edge browsers. There's even an AI powered capability which enables you to automatically identify locator failures during session runs and automatically debug locator anomalies. This will help you reduce locator flakiness and improve your test stability. Lastly, Browser Stack Automate supports over 50 integrations across CI CD, Record and Report, Project Management, Communication Tools, etc., for a well rounded automation experience and some of the Fortune 500 and other businesses that they have listed here, like L'Oreal, Rubik's, Logical, have constantly improved their testing cycles using Browser Stack Automate. Sound great, right? I know there's a lot there, and you probably want to try it for yourself, so don't worry. You can hop on the bandwagon and sign up for a free 14-day trial with Automate through this exclusive link down below. Check it out for yourself. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.